Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Ben Morian and in this programming tutorial I will teach you guys how to make a basic Hello World program using HTML and JavaScript. Alright, so we're going to be using the program Notepad++ for this. It's a free program that allows you to code a multitude of languages including Java, JavaScript, Python, uh, etc. Uh, and HTML. So we're going to be using HTML for this and we're also going to be doing some JavaScript. So to start an HTML file you're going to use the tab open bracket HTML close bracket and then to close that tag you do open bracket forward slash HTML. Okay. So now we're going to add in a script and the way you add a script into HTML is open bracket slash or open bracket script type equals and we're going to do quote um, text forward slash JavaScript text forward slash JavaScript and end quote and now the angle bracket and then enter and then slash script Okay, so that's how you would put a JavaScript file inside of your HTML. Everything inside of here will be determined as JavaScript. So it leaves you a lot of flexibility in coding HTML. So what we're going to do is create a simple little button. And when we click that button, it's going to open up a like alert window in our browser. And it's going to say, hello world. So to make that button, what we're going to do is open angle bracket and it's going to be an input type and the type t-o-i-p-e <laughs> type uh, of the input so you do type equals and then quote button all right and then you can do a semicolon in between and then all you have to do is say on click equals and then quote um, this will be the name of your method, so we'll just make the method hello uh, world and then open parentheses, close parentheses for method, and then a semicolon, and then we're going to give it what's called a value, which is what's going to be the name of the button. So value equals quote, click me. Okay? And then close angle bracket, and then close the whole input tag. Okay. All right. So now we have to go up into this JavaScript, and we have to declare the "hello world" function. So to do that, we're just going to make a function, and it's going to be really simple. So to declare a function, you do function, and the name of the function. So hello, capital W world, and then yeah, open close parentheses, and then an open curly bracket. Press enter a few times, close curly bracket, and then inside of this function, we can, we're going to want to have the code for what we want the function to do. So what we want to do is open up a box or an alert window saying hello world. And in JavaScript, it's really easy to do that. You can just say alert, open parentheses, and we want it to say hello world, close the string and close the parentheses semicolon and that's honestly it that's all you have to do um, so let's just go through this code again we have the HTML tags showing that this is an HTML file and everything in between is HTML we have the script tag saying or declaring our JavaScript text and the closing tag we have the function hello world which is um, set so that on the click of the button that we made, uh, it is run. And we have our button, which is an input type, and the type is a button. And the value, which is the text on the button, uh, is going to say click me. So if I were to just save this file, save as, uh, if I were to save it as an HTML file or hypertext markup language file, uh, you can save it as button whatever you want, .html. 
and if you were to go run and launch and launch in Chrome or Safari or whatever you have it would open up that file in your browser and if you do click me you can see here that we have an alert window saying hello world um, we just fit that into our recording window here click me and you can see hello world is brought up so yeah that's how you would do that that's how you um, would make a simple button and have that button do something and so you could put this on a blog on whatever website that might host HTML um, you can ho uh, you could put this script on and it would work just the same on that web page so that anybody could do it so yeah this was how to make a button and have it do something inside of HTML in under six minutes my name is Ben Morgan thank you for watching